Hello everyone from Akesa Living. Hope everyone's doing well this morning. I was doing my own meditation practice this morning, finished it up and did the meditation from the uh, past life chakra activation of yesterday. And in the middle of that, began getting channeled a, a good deal of information about oneness and the fragmentation of humanity and the purpose of unconditional love, what, what unconditional love means to humanity and our not understanding that and what coming back into higher vibration means for humanity, the defragmentation of humanity. And the energy is still, for those of you who feel energy, is still coming. And so I'm just going to share it with you pretty much in real time as I'm getting it. It explains so much. It explains so much of what I feel. And I believe many of you will if you're listening, you resonate with this, and so it's going to answer much of what you're feeling as well. So, many people will talk about how they feel like they're so many of themselves, or they're pulled in so many directions, or they they want this and then they want that, or they're going this way or they're going that way, or they have this emptiness that nothing seems to fill, and they understand that they're whole and complete in and of themselves and that no one else can make them whole. And they're not looking for someone to make them whole. And yet the projects they do, the things they do, that's not it. Doing is not it. It's because being is it. But being, being how? Being alone is not it, because we are meant to be in relationship, because we are energy. Energy is always in relationship. Energy, its, it's creation is, is relationship, is molecules attracting molecules. Everything is held together by attraction and relationship. So when source energy the initial energy that we all are. Again, no belief system here. No belief system. Simply energy, molecules. Begin multiplying. Whenever that was, wherever it was, however it was. And became, became consciously aware. It was in darkness. And the light came on of conscious awareness. It had no tactility. It couldn't feel, it couldn't physically do or act out or express any of the things it was becoming aware of, any of the knowledge that it was acquiring, any of the understanding that it was acquiring. So, in order to eventually do so, source energy, dividing is how energy expands. So consciousness expands then. So under universal law, everything has to work under the same principles because we are energy. Therefore, there's division and more division and more division and more division. And like, like energies continue to attract or to maintain stability. We want to maintain stability. It has nothing to do with um, segregation of any kind. It, it simply has to do with these energies together in this formation are stable. These are stable. These are stable. If you act upon them or if you let them act upon one another, you create instability and things go boom or implode. So they, they naturally resonate together and that's allowed to happen. And there's expansion of consciousness organically. All right. So a source wanted to experience itself. A part of it stayed intact. A part of it divided off 
and actually fragmented itself into light beings. The choice was made to fragment from oneness, from being this huge energy conglomeration that was always it was growing, expanding all the time. It was a huge chakra system, a huge web of chakras of energy that regardless of what type it was, it, it all communicated with one another. Resonant energies here, resonant energies there, resonant energies here, but still all able to communicate with one another through, through this massive chakra system. This energy respecting that energy. The two never did meet because this energy stayed stable here, that energy stayed stable there. And as, as resonance came out at some point, there was the chakra systems were able to communicate with one another. And there was respect, there was mutual respect energetically. And so things were stable. So and this, this was in the oneness of all. But the, the part that remained whole, that it's that way. Source, pure source energy. But then there's the part that continued to further subdivide into the light beings, which continued to subdivide and continued to subdivide until a group of them, um, have, which have been personified in many ways. Some have personified them as archangels. Some have personified them as Lemurians. There, there have been many personifications given to them. Take your pick. <laughs> it's been channeled to me as Lemurians and Archangels. It doesn't matter. It's energy. So whatever personification you um, identify with. Okay. All right. Nonetheless, it is energy. So this group of this, this energy conglomeration decided they wanted to divide into light beings and inhabit a planet as individuals. So they further fragmented themselves. And then as they slowed down their molecules to become tactile beings, the aspects of self that formed from the tactile being, humanity, to the top, where they were the highest source energy, this, these aspects that formed in between are further fragmentation. This is where our fragmentation comes in. The more we are removed from oneness, the more fragmented our energy becomes. The more we come out of the energy, the frequency of unconditional love, the more fragmented we become. Now these denser aspects, denser than the source or the main source, yet, more higher vibrational than the tactile, us. They got into energy below the bandwidth of unconditional love. And that, and they began to have the ability to use the programmable mind to override the rest of our chakra system and our heart, which was where um, source energy was to come through and communicate with us to keep us on track, to keep us in communication, to keep us from being so deep, so fragmented, so they could impose their desire, what they wanted to express over the will of what the source energy wanted to express. The fragments of ourselves figured out how to override the system for source energy to be expressed through 
the lowest level of consciousness in the bandwidth of unconditional love, which is us, but the most physical, the ultimate expression, the ultimate physical expression of the highest level of consciousness, humanity. So our goal in becoming higher vibrational, our goal in back to oneness, our goal in healing ourselves, what we're doing, we're defragging ourselves, we're defragmenting. This ascension process we're going through, this transcending that I've been talking about, and I teach it very differently than most people I've heard. I know there are others who are teaching it similarly. I've been told there are others. But before, when I was listening to other people, I didn't hear anybody else teaching it the way I was. Um, ascension and, and transcendence meant many different things, but not this. But that's what we're doing is these other aspects of ourselves. We are transcending those to take the fragments of ourselves and put them back together. So instead of working against us, instead of playing ourselves, instead of cutting off our noses by our face, this one whole complete light being that we are allows pure source energy to come down and communicate with the vehicle that it created when it slowed its molecules down. No, no, we broke off into these light beings. So why pure source energy? But we're still directly from source. And source is still where everything is still one. So we're still communicating everything back to that original source energy. So that is the point of origin for everything. So even though we are a division of that, and our individuality is necessary for there to be this expansion of consciousness so that our uniqueness is, is pivotal to the expansion of consciousness. You being you, me being me, us being in our unique frequency, doing our unique thing, expands consciousness uniquely but it is still ultimately source energy coming through us, empowering us, serving as our energy source. And it's where everything we're doing, because we're the expression of that energy through us, is expanding consciousness here as well. We are learning here as we expand consciousness, as we allow source energy to, to, to be physical through us, it doesn't necessarily unfold as above so below because the level of consciousness has decreased and physicality and pure energy is theoretical. <laughs> okay, we want it as above so below, but what does that really mean? We know up here, theoretically, we, we know, we know, you know how it is when you, you know how it should work, and then you actually go to do something and how it actually works. Well, that, that's where we're at. So we're expanding consciousness with, okay, this is how it really works when you get down to it. And that's what we've been doing. But we didn't have parameters. <laughs> and, and that's how we, the fragmentation of ourselves is how we ended up in the denser energies and it really got out of control. So we're coming up out of those denser energies now to a high enough vibrational frequency where we're defragmenting enough. We're coming back together into our light bodies. That's what is meant by light bodies. Because I know there were people who are like, oh, we're going to become, we're going to be so transparent and we're going to be, and no. <laughs> what it means is we are energetic beings and we're going to start functioning with our chakra systems more activated. And so we're going to be defragment ourselves and start functioning as 
a whole complete being as we were meant to, allowing source energy to come down through us. And eventually, as we come up and up and up in, in frequency and level of consciousness and conscious awareness, we will allow source to, to come through us, communicate with us as meant to be, and we will be one whole complete light being as we were always meant to be. And the defragmentation, the fragmentation of us, the different aspects of us will be brought under control. They will no longer be using the programmable mind to override the chakra system in the heart, which knows or gets, receives the transmission of our guidance from source. And though that does not mean that we are being controlled or, or free will overran, we are source, source is us. It's, we are the part of a continuum of one being. So there's no way that our free will is being overran. We are, we are a part of that. That is a part of us. So it is our will, the one whole light being. There is no separation of it. The fragmentation has to stop. We are source. Source is us. We're no complete light being. This emptiness we feel, this void we can't fill, it is that fragmentation that has us separated from the communication with source. Energy wants to feel the tactility the physicality and has an expectation of what that is. But then we got here and all, all that it knows as source, all the beauty, all the oneness of it, the high vibrational, unconditional love of this wants to be expressed through us got degraded and fragmented into what we are now. And we are mourning, hurting, longing for home. Home being. That closeness of unconditional love. the fragments of ourselves where we are cutting our nose off in spite of our face, where we are playing ourselves, where ourselves are keeping ourselves from having the energy come through us that will give us what we came here for is preventing us from feeling what source energy is trying to transmit to us. the fullest expression of love. And humanity is designed for that. What's the most powerful thing in the world that no one can get enough of? The whole world talks about it and nobody's happy until they found it. If you don't know what it is by now, I'm talking about love. If love were a bell, you could better be ringing it. If love were a song, you could bet I'd be singing it, Lynn Anderson. We are in the bandwidth of unconditional love. If we are not functioning in that bandwidth, we are unhealthy creatures. Our energy is not stable. So we have to come back up into that stability, defragment ourselves, let pure source light come down, so the energy of home, origin, can be expressed through us. And we can feel that connectedness again. 
the painting of God and man trying to touch fingers. Yesterday, I was trying to figure out. My life had been such that it took all of my energy to manage my health and the stressors in my life from the life I was living. So I've completely changed my life over the past few years, eliminated a huge number of stressors. So now I can manage my health much better. And there's so many things I wanted to do. And I have the time now that instead of the energy I have, my health, I manage my health better. Therefore, I feel better. So I have instead of energy putting fires out with the other bunch of stressors, I could put that energy into better things. Yet, I don't feel the fulfillment from those better things. They're empty to me. Not entirely empty. Certainly, I feel, uh, I see the merit in them and, and et cetera, et cetera. But I don't, there's not the satisfaction with them that I expected. It's because they're without relationship. I had to be alone to do that. I was not able to come into union with anyone who would be supportive in the in a relationship here for me to have meaningful things in my life like that. I was not I never attracted in. I was not high vibrational enough. I was not healthy enough energetically. I didn't understand enough about being an energy being to be strong enough energetically and therefore physically to hold the frequency to attract in someone who was resonant with me in living with me, being with me intimately, personally, and the other chakras firing off as well my personal ambitions uh, of all aspects of my life. So now I have other aspects of my life that are going off and in, in, in doing the things I would like. I have the energy for that now. I've made the energetic bandwidth space for it, but I had to sacrifice having a relationship to do it because like, I haven't been able to hold a frequency and attract someone in who wants the same things and is supportive of that and who doesn't use my energy or, or the, the relationship doesn't get dysfunctional and use my energy in a way that I don't have the energy to, to, for my health, to maintain my health and to do these things also. I'm, defra I'm, I'm fragmented in those ways. This is the defragmentation of me that I've been under, undergoing. Home for each of us are those relationships. that are resonant. And they don't match just a chakra or two. They allow us to be who we are. And we're stable. And they don't act upon us and pull us out of stability and cause us to implode or explode. And then the other energies that aren't like that, there's nothing wrong with those. They're perfectly fine being what they are. There's there's no matter to me as long as they stay in some other orbit somewhere else. They mutually respect me and I mutually respect them. And we don't act upon one another and cause one another to implode. And we reverberate out. And at some point, 
the chakra system of everything allows our energies to interact in some way that is compatible. Okay. But the problem is humanity, we, we don't hold frequency and we settle for energies that don't fully resonate. So I spend all my time alone. I go to the lights. I'm alone all the time. So I have my projects. My, I'm able to put the energy into my health so that I can take the fight, flight, and freeze I was born with and, and manage it. So I'm... And, and help other people do that and teach it. I'm able to put energy toward projects that I wouldn't be able to in a non-resonant energy if I settled for a non-resonant relationship. But the sacrifice is I'm alone. So there's that emptiness of, okay, so I'm, I'm doing this, but Home. Because home is when all the chakras are firing. Yeah. Twin flame energy, soulmate energy. The energy that was closest to us when we were created, the most resonant energies. It's home. But the thing is, We have to function in the frequency of unconditional love. We can't force anyone to be home. So many times it's been channeled to me, so-and-so's energy is going home, coming home, longs for home. And when that first started happening, it freaked me out because home, <laughs> that, that sounds like they're dying. You know, we're, oh, they're going home. Oh my God, they're, they're being called away. <laughs> you know, you know what we're taught, you know what our society teaches. And I was, being, I was freaked out. I'm like, don't, don't tell me those things, you know. And they're like, we would never tell you that. <laughs> what are you thinking? You know, we wouldn't do that. And I'm like, well, then what are you telling me? This is what they were saying. This person was longing for resonant energy, but they didn't understand what they were longing for. And they were settling. I was told when I came to Vicksburg, we will not let you settle again. Essentially, we will make you so freaking uncomfortable and miserable energetically within yourself because you feel energy. It's gonna be so miserable for you. And impossible for you that you're going to just keep moving energy and moving energy until you realize that something's off. <laughs> I've got to do something differently, but we are not letting you settle. And I do not get to settle, folks, believe me. Um, I don't get to settle. When things are energetically off, there's no rest here for the weary. <laughs> But because of that, I better understand how to manage the fight, flight, and freeze. I, I can think through projects whenever I manage the fight, flight, and freeze. I, I understand all of this. So I can share with those of you who are ready for it. And those who aren't and come across it and roll their eyes, I'm okay with. I'm totally okay with. But I finally do understand Like 
connection I have that pulls that man will let go. And yet, we're unconditional love means we do not act upon another person's energy to get what we want. That is 3D behavior that causes someone else to change who they are, who they want to be, implosion, explosion. It is the micro or the macro that we were talking about. So 5D behavior is we accept that home for us, the most resonant energies for us, if they won't come into frequency with us, we accept it. Then we keep holding frequency, hoping they do, or waiting for other, at least closely resonant energies to come in so we can feel home. So it's not just the project, business, friendship chakras going off, or not just the sexual chakras going off, but it's all of them. So we have the completeness of the life here we're supposed to have. So we don't settle. So we don't have a part chakras going off, but the rest is non-resonant. And so it puts non-resonant energy into our life and then causes other parts to implode and explode. And therefore we end up with a life that is fragmented again. And we end up back in denser energies and we, we end up in what the, the tarot shows, the, the endless wheel of fortune cycle, you know, where you're in the loop again, you're in the loop again. That's why. Because we settle. We don't, we don't use the silver light and clear the, the past life energies or, or the past in this life energies, even the people we've come across in this life that we're redoing things with. And we don't clear those things. And we don't slow down do our energy work every day and make sure that our chakras are balanced and make sure that what we're doing in our lives, we're doing in frequency and that the people we are in relationship with, business, friendships, romantic, all the chakras are firing or most of the chakras are firing. So we're all resonant and so we're in flow because then that's going to feel like home because home is this. Home is, is where things are. Things flow. Energy flows. Nobody's doing this to one another. It's this. It's a peaceful, easy feeling that we're all looking for. And we're like, okay, so I get that part together, then this part falls apart. I get this part together, and that part falls apart. And, and, and uh, so I'm just going to be by myself. And then we're by ourselves, and we're like, oh, so every, yeah, I'm freaking miserable. And so then we get with somebody, and then, oh, my God, no, this isn't working. I'm going to be by myself again. And, and so it's, and, and this, that's why. Because we're not making sure we're with resonant energies. And the fragments of ourselves are what are getting in the way. And what we're calling for, what we're longing for is home. But many of us have stumbled across home. Energies that we've been channeled. This is, this is a high vibrational soulmate. This is a twin flame. This is a, a business partner that is, is meant to be with you. But then they're not stepping into frequency and we're aware of it. And all we can do is hold frequency and let them be who they are. We cannot act upon their energies. Unconditional love doesn't judge them where they're at. Doesn't mean we allow them to hurt us or come into our orbit and pull us out of frequency. We don't let them say things to us that are hurtful. We don't let them behave to us in any way that is hurt. We don't want to do any of that. We also don't judge them for where they're at because we've been there too. We simply let them be where they are and who they are. 
and we hold frequency and we go on. Take in all that energy that we're feeling, pulling it to center, doing our energy work every day and going forward on our timeline, holding frequency and attracting other energies in, checking for resonance as we go. And what happens invariably, sacral chakra will go off and it'll be great business, great business ideas, great project ideas, a great friend or a great lover. And, and we get excited about that and we, for, we forget or we just don't even want to. We're just so excited. Surely all the other chakras are going to go off too and they don't. And I'll be damned we do it again. And so there we are. Non-resonant energy in our lives. And we're like, why are, why is, why is my work going stagnant? Why are things not moving here? Why, why do I feel unfulfilled with my work again? Why is my health, why is my health suffering again? Why are things off again? Most well, because that person, they light you up in so many ways, but they're not resonant with you in enough ways. And you're trying your damnedest now to, you've recognized it on some level. You're trying your damnedest to talk to them. <laughs> and, you know, you're, you're not trying to manhandle them, you know, 3D. You're trying to use 5D to get them to, but either because they're not meant to, they're being who they authentically are, or they're just not ready yet. But they're, they're kind of like this with you. <laughs> they're not, they're not this with you. So it's, it's got you a little out. This work. And then the energies that are home to us, even when they're not in frequency, they're different aspects. They know we're here. And they call to us especially when certain energies are going on and we feel it. And then that pulls us as well. So we have to learn to recognize those. Hold on a second. <laughs> That's not my energy. Those emotions coming in. I've dealt with that. I've, I've, the, yes, we had that conversation, but I'm over that. I don't, I'm not upset with them. I'm not, I don't blame. I don't, I don't feel any of that. So I don't know what all that is coming back through. Oh, wait, yes, I do. <laughs> They're ruminating about it. And we're so telepathically linked. I'm picking up on it. Let me call myself back to myself. <laughs> Let me put up my, my shields here so I can shield myself from it. There's no parameters here. No soft, no soft peddling this, folks. They're their emotions are coming in to your energetic field. It's time to pull out the big guns here. Call yourself back to yourself and go forward on your timeline with your energy and don't let their energy come into yours and mess up your life. It's not like they're intentionally doing it. They're probably not even aware they're doing it. It's on a, it's the other aspects of them. So it's a subconscious thing. No, they may be aware in the 3D. They may be aware that they can't stop thinking about you, but they're not aware that they're having this effect on you probably. And if you told them, chances are they would be like, that's, that's BS, that, that's not possible. But for those of you who are empaths and, and connected telepathically, et cetera, et cetera, you know it is. So this is what you have to do. When you know you have dealt with something and you have processed it and I'll be damned here, it comes around again. And you're like, what is this? Why am I feeling this again? And I don't have any of these feelings about this. I've gone through them. Nothing's triggered me with this. What, what is going on? It's not you. It's not you. That you've left yourself open because that, that person's energy has not been bothering you. So you've, you've opened up your energy field and here it comes. So it's time to raise the shields, pull your energy back to yourself, clear it out, clear their energy out. And it's going to be resistant to go. It's not going to want to go because you're home to them. Matter of fact, it'll sometimes tell you I'm not going. <laughs> you have to say I'm sovereign over myself. 
and source energy, if you have to say, and you have to call in source energy and let source energy say, yes, you're going. Because you're not resonant. So, yeah, you're going. And your energy clears. And you take all your energy and you go forward on your timeline. The emptiness is there. So it's home. And this is what we're all going through, folks. We're defragmenting ourselves. All across the planet, people are at different levels of this. Some just starting to wake and some not even, not even aware yet. Others very advanced in it. And that doesn't make anyone smarter or better. None of that it has nothing to do with intelligence. It simply has to do with have you become aware of are you sensing it? Are you feeling? Are you responding yet to the planet's change in vibrational frequency, the change in frequency around you? Is your chakra system coming online? What are you personally doing to bring it online? What are your own personal practices? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there's no, there's no judgment to be made here. But it's a difficult time to be in. It's a beautiful time, but it's a time where we have to be open and let source energy come in and guide us to the resonant energies. And there's a lot, the hermit card comes out so much in tarot because so many of us are spending so much time alone waiting for resonant, truly resonant energies to come in. And so we're trying to find fulfillment in the projects. We're, we're doing the self-work. We're, we're continuing to grow ourselves because none of us have got this perfect and none of us are going to. We've spent all of recorded history in dense energy behaving very differently. So we're all learning this. We're all coming up ourselves. We're all healing from the trauma, drama, blame, shames, what it could have should is. We're all peeling off the layers of energy ourselves. So no one is doing 5D perfectly. So the time hermiting <laughs> is, is good for us in many ways. Yet the loneliness for home is there. Especially when the other energies that are feeling it then are home to us. Again, not necessarily twin flame and soulmate in rom from romantic sense. It can be the business partner that we should have that it hasn't become resonant. It, should, it could be the, the friend that we should be close to that the energies have become non-resonant in the fragmented aspects. And so we've had to pull away from. And those are pulling at us. Home is pulling at us. And, and it's not resonant though. So we, we, can't, we can't be that. Because going back to oneness doesn't mean we're giving up our individuality, that the individual light beings are all going to go back into a conglomeration of energy and be just like source, the part of source that has stayed intact as one. It means we are going to be the individual light beings that we are that overcome the fragmentation overcome the effects of having slowed our molecules down for the highest level of conscious awareness to express itself physically through humanity. So I hope that helps explain some of what's going on with, with you emotionally, what some of you are feeling. This particular um, new moon energy that we have coming up um, uh, in a couple more days. Uh, it happens on the spring equinox, of course. Um, 
So we've got both of those energies happening. Many of us have been feeling them now for a few days. Um, and we're going to feel it for a few days afterwards. So I think it's the 21st that it'll hit, 20th, 21st. And so we're going to go into like the 25th. Uh, we're going to be feeling these energies strongly uh, for this time period. And uh, there's a lot, there's a lot to that. Um, stay grounded. Stay, get plenty of sunlight, drink plenty of water, nature. Pay attention to what's yours and what's not. Keep your crystals around that best serve you. You can never go wrong with amethyst. You can never go wrong with anything that's aquamarine colored for the high heart chakra. Keep the high heart activated and be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. I would love to tell you that this is the time in history that we're going to all come into 5D and sing Kumbaya and it's going to be perfect. And I would love to tell you that the projections on the internet a few years ago that by 2024 or whatever the, the number was, 2026, 2032, everybody's going to be in 5D and it's going to be, I would love to tell you all that's true. I don't know. That's not what's been channeled to me. I haven't been channeled any date certain when everybody's going to going to hit there. I do, I do know there's a tipping point to where the vibrational frequency comes up enough that it, it, it helps, it helps bring people up faster, but unconditional love doesn't force. So none of us are to exhort, uh, exert force on others to get them to change out of the behavior patterns they're in to behavior patterns that are higher vibrational to suit us. We're simply the whole frequency. It doesn't mean we let them in our orbit and affect us negatively. We simply don't judge them. We don't think badly of them. We don't look down on them, none of that stuff. We just don't let them in either. We just wave from afar and the whole frequency and accept in the energies that are resonant for us and keep going. And keep healing the back of our heart chakra because we keep being triggered, keep the past life chakra cleared because we keep being triggered. Keep the entire chakra system fortified and aligned. Do your daily energy work. Have a practice. Do your self-care. Your self-care is staying frequency. You getting out of frequency and doing what's not good for you only means you're helping somebody else not be in frequency. Because if you're with somebody and it's not truly resonant, they're not resonant either. And the goal is for everything to be resonant energy. So we're all home. So that feeling that everyone's trying to feel, knows they need to feel, can't put a word to, they know it's some sort of love, but, you know, we don't say that because most people are like, oh, good, or they go talking about love again. What it is. It is. Because we are created in love. And our entire frequency is meant to be aligned with love. And when there's only great sex, but there's the rest of it's not there. I mean, there's only a great business partnership going on, but the romantic part's not there. When there's great friendships, but the, the work environment and the love room environment's not there. When, when it's all not there, we're not the flow. 
and try as we may. Something's off. We have the higher and higher vibrational we become, the more and more we feel the status of our energy. And that's a good thing. Because keeping our energetic body in alignment is how we course correct everything and we get to where we all are meant to be. So it all reverberates out and everyone is where they're meant to be and the cosmos is where it's meant to be. And it is how we get to that beautiful place where pure source energy is truly coming down, slowing its molecules down, there we go. And the light being is expressing itself, one whole complete light being in physicality for humanity. Or at that point in time, where we're fragmented and we're working on defragging ourselves. I hope this helps explain some of what everyone's going through. Have an amazing day, you all. Do your practice. Water, exercise, sunshine, self-care. Stay in frequency. Don't settle. Be patient with yourself. Cry if you need to. Let it out. Then pull yourself back to yourself. Remember, being high vibrational doesn't mean pretending you're happy all the time. Pretending means you're leaving energy stuck. We have to face the emotions we feel and deal with them. We have to move past them. We have to let them out and move past them. I'm out. This fucking sucks. <laughs> let it out. Then pull yourself back to yourself. Let pure source energy come down, pull you into frequency, and bring into your life resonant energies.